Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve the equation x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. So, my only variable in this equation is x, which I have twice. So this is what I'm going to be solving for. Now, for my solution... I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation over here. So my equation is x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. And to solve this, what I'm first going to do is take the power of 4 on both sides. Now, I know this may seem kind of confusing because this term right here has already th three powers now, including the 4. But there is a use for this. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. However, a to the power of m times n is also equal to a to the power of n times m. And now, if a to the power of m times n is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this should equal a to the power of n to the power of n. So in this case, I have x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4. And for this property, I can think of a as x, m as x to the power of 4, and n as 4. So now I can switch the places of x to the power of 4 and 4. So this is the same thing as x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4. So now if I plug this back into my original equation, I get x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, you'll see why I did this in just a minute, but first, we have to rewrite 64. So, 64 is the same thing as 8 squared. So, I'm going to plug in 8 squared into 64, and then I'm going to get x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 8 squared to the power of 4. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So, 8 to the power of 2 to the power of 4 is going to equal 8 to the power of 2 times 4, which is the same thing as 8 to the power of 8. Now, I'm going to let x to the power of 4 equal to the variable y. So I get y to the power of y is equal to 8 to the power of 8. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a equals b. So in this case, y is equal to 8. Now, x to the power of 4 is equal to y. So I get x to the power of 4 is equal to 8. And now to solve this, what I'm going to do is take the fourth root, which is the same thing as the power of 1 over 4 on both sides. So I have the fourth root of x to the power of 4 is equal to 8, which is the same thing as x to the power of 4. Or sorry, x. To, this is the same thing as x the fourth root of 8, and this is the same thing as x to the power of 4 to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to fourth root of 8, and these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to positive or negative fourth root of 8. And remember to add this in, because this is a even exponent. Now, the final thing to do is to check. So, my original equation was x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64, and we get x is equal to the fourth root of 8. So, if I plug this in, this is the same thing as 8 to the power of 1 fourth to the power of 8 to the power of 1 fourth to the power of 4. So, then these two cancel out, and now I get 8 to the power of 1 fourth to the power of 8. And 8 times 1 over 4 is 2, so I get 8 to the power of 2 is equal to 64, and 64 is equal to 64.